ELO, be able to solve independent and conditional probability problems. Harry Viducci has seven green marbles and four blue marbles in a bag. He picks out one marble, replaces it, then picks out another marble. A. Complete the probability tree diagram to show these events. B. Work out the probability that Harry randomly selects two green marbles. So the first thing is we've got to look at how many marbles there are. There's seven green marbles and there's four blue marbles. So the probability on the first pick, which is this, this first part of the branch is going to be as follows. We've got four, four blue marbles and seven green marbles, so that's 11 marbles in total. The probability, therefore, that he picks green is 7 out of 11. The probability that he picks blue is therefore going to be 4 out of 11. Now, there's a crucial thing within this question, which you've always got to look for when you're dealing with probability tree diagram questions. He replaces it, and that means that the probability stays the same. So he puts the marble back in the bag, and therefore the probability of green on the second pick is still going to be 7 over 11, even if he's picked a green one on the first pick. The probability of blue is also going to remain as 4 over 11. And if he picks a blue one out on the first pick, the probabilities are also going to be the same. So... Again, green is going to be 7 over 11, 7 elevenths, and blue is going to be 4 over 11, which is 4 elevenths. So that would be your completed probability tree diagram. And then we need to work out part B, where it says, find the probability that Harry randomly selects two green marbles. So it's these branches that we're going along. Green, and then green, and this is the outcome that we want. We want probability of green, green. And what do we do along the branches? With times along the branches, oh buddy, would you stay? With times along the branches, everything's gonna be okay. So what we're gonna do there is, as the song says, is seven over 11 multiplied by seven over 11. With times along the branches, oh buddy, would you stay? And then when we're multiplying fractions, we go fnyam across the top. We multiply across the top. 7 times 7 is 49. And we go fnyam across the bottom. 11 times 11 is 121. Now that doesn't simplify. So we will leave our probability of green green as 49 over 121. Now, the second part to this presentation is, but what if he didn't replace them? So what if he didn't replace the marbles as he took them out? Now this is a, a conditional probability problem because the probabilities are going to change depending on what happened on the first pick. So again, we're going back to our tree diagram. Harry Viducci has seven green marbles and four blue marbles. So the initial probabilities remain the same, green and blue. Seven over 11 and four over 11. Now we're going to look at what happens if he picks out a green marble first of all. So there were seven green marbles, but if he picks one out and doesn't replace it, then the next probability of green is going to be six, because there's one less green marble, and there's one less marble in total as well, so it's six over 10. That means that the probability of, of blue it's going to be 4 out of 10, because the 4 blue marbles are still in there, but there's one less green, which means that the denominator, the total number of outcomes, is now 10. Okay, so just to kind of recap what I've been over there, we've got the probability of green is 7 over, over 10, but if for the second pick a green one has gone, the probability of green is now going to be 6 over 10, and the probability of blue is going to be 4 over 10. So... We then look at the, the other way that this probability tree diagram could go, and that is if he picks out a blue marble. So if he's picked out a blue marble, the probability of green is going to still be 7, but again it's going to be out of 10, because there's one less blue marble this time. So that probability would be 7 over 10. The probability of a blue marble, obviously because there's one less, it's going to be 3, and of course the denominator will also be 10. So that is the completed tree diagram. 
showing the conditional probability of picking out greens or blues and how it affects the second probability. So, now part B says work out the probability that Harry randomly selects two green marbles. So again, we times along the branches, oh buddy, would you stay? You times along the branches, everything's going to be okay. So we times along the branches. So the probability again of green green is going to be these top branches. It's the only way you can get green green. So the probability of green green, we'll write it like this, is going to be 7 over 11 multiplied by 6 over 10. So then we multiply fractions by fnyaming across the top and fnyaming across the bottom. So that becomes 42 over 110. Now that can be simplified. 42 over 110 simplifies to 21 over 55, which does not simplify any further. Hasta la pizza, Harry Vedurci, so long, goodbye, au revoir, see you next time.